It's summer holiday time on the island of Sodor. Holiday makers come from far and wide to enjoy the beauty of the island. It's the busiest time of the year for the Fat Controller's engines. It was a splendid day on the island of Sodor. Autumn had come to the island of Sodor. The fields were changing from yellow stubble to brown earth. Back at the sheds, everyone thought it was very funny. You look good enough to eat, Thomas hooted. Pudding, Percy, teased James. Chalk ice on wheels, chipped in Henry. Henry the Green Engine has lived on the island of Sodor for many years. He wouldn't want to be anywhere else. He likes every part of it, from the fields filled with flowers to the white sandy beaches. But there is one place that Henry always enjoyed visiting more than any other. His driver knew this too. Come on, Henry, he would say. We've made good time today. We'll stop for a while by the forest. Henry loved it here. The forest was full of broad oaks and tall pines. Henry could remember the day long ago when he and Toby brought some new trees to be planted and Terence and Trevor helped haul them into place. Now he could see the trees growing amongst the others on the hillside. Henry always felt better for being here. He couldn't really explain why, but his driver understood. It's peaceful, he said to Henry. It was winter on the island of Sodor. Thomas and Percy were cold and cross. All I want is a warm boiler, Huff Thomas. Firelighter knows that. He's late. He's not late, replied Percy. This cold weather woke us up early. Gusts of wind swirled flakes of snow towards Thomas. Then they swooshed round Percy too. Why don't we talk about something else, shivered Percy? Yes, like how silly we look when our funnels turn into icicles. That's not funny. Maybe we'll stop feeling cold if we talk about warm things like sunshine and steam. And firelighters, muttered Thomas. Scarves, continued Percy. Scarves? That's what you need, Percy. A woolly scarf round your funnel. Thomas was only teasing, but Percy thought happily about scarves until the firelighter came. Snow and frost lay everywhere. A few days later, the weather changed. As the snow melted, the quarry grew busy again. Thomas, Percy and James were looking at the early morning sky. Everyone's so much happier when springtime comes, said Thomas happily. Everyone except the fat controller, grumbled James. He seems to be working us harder than ever. I'm tired of these coastal runs. He just wants everything to be ready for the holidays, replied Percy. Anyway, salty air makes me all cheerful in my smoke box. Percy, no, no, not by the smoke of my chimney, chim, chim. I'll chuff and I'll puff and I'll break your door in. Thomas the Tank Engine was feeling very happy. His blue coat shone in the sun, he was right on time, and all around his branch line the countryside seemed prettier than ever before. If someday you should see Thomas the Tank Engine puffing happily along the line, he may be on his way to a village nestled deep in the heart of the island of Soda. One December morning, Thomas whistled to all his friends, It's nearly Christmas and I'll bring you lots of letters and parcels. You're the best Santa Claus this village has ever had. What's a Santa Claus? asked Percy. Santa Claus is someone who drops presents down chimneys at Christmas time. Percy looked at his funnel. I wonder if... No, laughed Thomas. Chimneys, Percy, not funnels. Which reminds me, your post train is still back in the siding, isn't it? Percy hurried back to fetch it. 
Just then, Toby arrived with Henrietta. We've brought lots of hot drinks and food for the villagers, he whistled. That night, all the engines had gone back to their sheds except Toby. The villagers had made a plan to thank the engines. They loaded paint pots and parcels into Henrietta, then they set off through the moonlit countryside. All the engines were fast asleep in the sheds as Toby ran silently into the yard. He had no idea what the villagers were going to do, but he knew it was going to be a big surprise. When the engines woke the next morning, they could not believe their eyes. The sheds had been repainted and decorated. Parcels lay everywhere. The engines whistled in delight and everyone agreed that it was really a happy Christmas.